I was born in Lodz, Poland in 1930. My father was a lawyer, my mother was a pianist, and we, had a, and we were sort of upper middle class family. Nothing was missing, we had a good time, and my father had access to, to, various, um, uh, to, to various government people, and so when we were thinking like in 1939, possibly to, to go to the World's Fair in New York and try to escape possible war, he was uh, told, oh, don't worry, Poland can, will succeed, I mean, we don't have to worry anything about the Germans. So we didn't, we didn't leave in Poland. In 1939, we came back from a nice vacation near the Lithuanian border, and that's when the, it was September 1st, 1939, and the war started. Now every time I hear now about Ukraine and what the people are going through. I went through it several times. So in 1939, we were attacked by the German bombers. We, I remember when I was nine there, we were sitting in an apartment and we were holding little pieces of cotton dipped in salicylic acid because this was supposed to protect us from gas attacks. Mm -hmm. We were sure that the Germans were going to attack with, with gas. When the war started, <coughs> we heard that the Germans were approaching. So we decided to go to Warsaw because we were quite sure that Warsaw would resist any German attacks. So we, in the middle of the night, we got on the train. The train later was attacked by German uh, airplane. Was was with uh, bullets all over our heads, but somehow we made it to Warsaw. We made it to Warsaw, and now we live through the whole German attack and siege of Warsaw. Well, maybe, I would say maybe a, a tenth or more of the population was killed. So we survived this 1939 attack, the Germans then occupied Poland, and now we live through the next five years under the German occupation. Now, so we were Jewish. My father immediately realized that it's not good to, to be Jewish under the German occupation. So we, we arranged with a friendly Russian Orthodox priest to get us papers that we are Really not, uh, not Jewish, but we are um, or Russian, Russian Orthodox. Russian Orthodox. And so, so now we are Russian Orthodox. We also changed our name slightly. Instead of Levartovich, now we were Lewandowski. And my mother was, uh, was uh, sort of fixing our, our passport with some um, ink. So we get different name. And now, so now we lived on the Polish side of, of Warsaw. The ghetto opened already. And much of, most of our family went to the ghetto. But my father said, no, we are not going there. And all our family which went to the ghetto perished. Mm -hmm. So now we were in Warsaw uh, as Catholics. And, uh, so you changed it, religion one more time, oh, Cass? Yeah. <laughs> we changed religion. We became Catholics, and then we became Methodists. Methodists. <laughs> you got them all covered. Yeah. All without ever getting uh, uh, no, no, no official change of, uh, of way, face. So now we <coughs> suffer through all the, the title of what I was going to tell you is life in Warsaw under German occupation. You were going out, out of your apartment, and you, you never knew whether you would come back. Because the Germans would 
graph people on the street. These, these are now Polish, not, not, the, not Jewish. The Jews were in the ghetto, and they would be murdered a little later anyway. So now you were out on the street, you could, there was something called Wapanka, which means catching. So suddenly some Germans would show up and grab you, and now you were going to some forced labor camp in Germany, or you were treated as a hostage. Because every time the German was attacked, they would bring like 10 people to the corner of the street in Warsaw and, and shoot them and say, well, these are people who were uh, against us. So this is now four or five years. At one point, um, yes, no, besides fighting the Germans, we also had to fight Polish blackmailers. So every time we would move somewhere, some would, you know, my father was a fairly well-known person uh, with lawyers, etc. So somebody would recognize, oh, this guy is Jewish. So they would report us to, to the Germans. No, or no, they would really cut and rob us. So they would take from my mother all the jewelry we, if we had any and, and whatever. So at one point in 1942, they arrested this, uh, my parents and me and took us to a local prison in Warsaw. And from there, so we saw this at the end. I remember we were in a holding cell overnight. And uh, these were Polish prisoners. And they didn't know what we were accused of. So they just told us, don't admit anything. <laughs> whatever you, your crime is. Then I saw my mother outside walking with other prisoners, so I threw her a candy. And then, then they pulled her out and uh, tried to punish her. Uh, anyway, so then my, my father, who spoke uh, fluent German, when they interrogated him, he gave them a whole story and and somehow he convinced those Gestapo people that you know we didn't really do anything, and somehow they accused us of, of uh, dollar transaction, and they lost somewhere the fact that we were Jewish. So by mistake, they released my mother and me, <laughs> and they kept still kept him. So we went back to our apartment about a week later. We get a phone call. My father bribes somebody in the prison, and they called us, get out. So this was just half an hour before the police hour, and we, we left the apartment, and my father, they this was some kind of am amnesty. Normally they would kill the Jews, but this time they just threw him out into the ghetto, and we pulled him out again. Some stomach problem. Anyway, after we got him out of the ghetto, he, he died two uh, days later in the hospital. So at least he died a normal <coughs> death, which was a privilege in those days. So now it's 1942. We, see we are in hiding, we are going from one apartment to another. At one point, we are, we are hiding in a place where. Um, where the, the family came from, from, from Western, Western Poland, and they, one, one son was, in the, was drafted into the German army, the other was in the Polish underground, and the, the daughter had a boyfriend uh, in SS. <laughs> And they kept us. They knew we were Jewish, and they kept us. So at one point, 